Hi and welcome to Dr. Mix. Today we demonstrate the Prism Sound Dream ADA 8XR. It's a top-end audio converter for recording, mastering and broadcast. This machine has a ton of controls, 8 analog ins and outs, a highly configurable structure via this panel and a monitor section. The ADA 8XR was built without a single compromise. It sounds as expensive as it looks, and it's arguably the best sounding audio interface on the market today. So let's compare it to an old friend, the glorious DigiDesign 192. The 192 has served us faithfully for a long time, and we know it very well. So let's see if the ADA 8XR can beat it. We will conduct three different experiments and record the outcome on a second Pro Tools rig connected to this interface. I strongly recommend headphones now. You can also download the full quality audio files on drmix.com. Experiment number one. We have chosen a complex orchestral arrangement we've produced some time ago. We will play it back through a stereo pair on the 192, going analog to channel one and two on our Atlas interface, which is connected to a second Pro Tools system. Let's see how it sounds. Now we will do exactly the same with the ADA 8XR. Let's compare now. 192 on the top, ADA on the bottom. Wow, pretty amazing. Yes, there is a huge difference in fact. The double bass on the 192 is a bit muddy, especially because of that generous reverb, plus it's double bass anyway. But on the ADA, it has a lot more definition and it also has a better stereo imaging, definitely. Um, yes, on the ADA also, I feel that it's a lot clearer in the top end. Try to listen for these things. Let me do it one more time so that uh, I'm going to do a new take for the video. Right. So, pay attention to the bass, yeah? Here we go. Hear the bass? Uh-huh. It even becomes punchier. Yeah, it sounds in focus. Yeah, also those horns, much wider on the ADA. And check the cymbals. Yeah, it's very subtle. But they sound more natural and open. See the stereo image, it's a bit narrow now. And on the ADA, it's nice and wide. Yeah, you need the high quality files. For experiment number two, we have chosen an epic orchestral piece that we've produced some time ago for a movie. We have divided the mix into four stems, percussion, low drums, low strings and horns, high strings and choir. We will use eight analog out from the 192 going into a summing mixer, the Thermionic Culture Fat Bastard. Here it is. And then we will go into our second Pro Tools rig. So everything is set, let's do it.
Are you frightened? <laughs> okay, so here's the ADA. Yes. Wow. Let's compare the two things. Wow, the stereo image is completely different. The low end is not even comparable. The rumble here is a bit confused. But here it's awesome. And also the top end. Can you hear that? I can hear that. <laughs> wow. For our third and last experiment, we will use an old mastering technique, which consists in running hot the final analog to digital converter in the mastering chain. Good converters can take quite a bit of signal before they start sounding nasty. Now we will test that limit. Here's our chain. First is our Atlas interface playing back a house track, always at the same level to stay absolutely consistent. Then through the gain stage of our Neve 33609, so that we can push the signal by exactly 2 dBs increments. Then into the 192 A to D converter, and finally into our Pro Tools rig. We will sweep through the entire gain range, so please be careful, this is gonna be loud, yes? Whoops, I think I just deafened myself. All right, let's see how the ADA reacts to this. All right, let's do it. Yeah, bear with me, we're just looking for a sweet spot here, yeah? So now, because this machine has a limiter, tuck, tuck, it's called overkill, let's see how it reacts with the limiter on, it's supposed to be very good.
we got that too. So now let's compare. Okay, at zero dB of gain, the ADA sounds better already. The limiter version, uh, let's try the limiter version. Okay, I don't notice any difference. Let's try plus two dBs. Yeah, again, the low end on this version is a lot clearer and uh, I can hear bigger punch and also the stereo image is a bit more in focus, no doubt. Okay, limiter. Yeah, of course, now the limiter, the overkiller starts affecting the level a little bit, so it's becoming quieter. Um, I still prefer this one. Anyway, let's make it more interesting and let's push it to plus four. Here we go. I start hearing differences um, on the hi-hats. The hi-hat on the 192 is already distorting a little bit and it loses a bit of definition. Instead, on the ADA, the top end is still clear despite the imminent saturation and the hi-hat really benefits from it. Let's listen to it one more time. Yeah, of course, now the version with the overkiller is a lot quieter. Um, in fact, you can see how these transients right here are completely shaved off, whilst on uh, the version with the limiter, they are nicely, you know, they're nice and neat. You know, it's a great sounding limiter anyway. So let's go to plus six now. Yeah, by now the distortion is really taking on the 192. Nice loudness, but hey, on the ADA we have again a much better definition. This converter is coping a lot better with the excessive signal than this one. Uh, limiter version. Oh wow, now the limited version sounds fantastic. Let's try plus eight. <laughs> okay, pay attention to this. On the ADA, the crash is still there, still intact. Listen to this crash. Then this. Can you hear that? Very nice. Okay, plus 10. This is ridiculous by now. See, this retains a lot more transient. Still, it's like, I mean, I would never go there, but you know, just for the sakes of this demonstration, you can see how the ADA keeps the sound more intact. Very nice. Now, with and without the overkill. <laughs> yeah, I think at this point it's just insane and I would never go there. But I could go plus six.
Yes, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. If you want to know more about our mixing and mastering services, please visit drmix.com. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as usual, thanks again for watching. And I hope you enjoyed and have a great life. Make beautiful music and rock on. <laughs> <laughs>